this video, we're going to look at the cosine graph for the cos graph. Uh, so I've created a little table uh, with x being 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, so on. Uh, 90, 120, 135, 150, 180, 210, 225, 240, 270, 300, 315, 330, and 360. Okay, so the other angles is that we're going to put in in degrees, and we're going to work out the cos of those angles and see what we get as answers. Okay, so okay, so get your calculator, make sure it's good degrees, move to the top, and let's work out what these are. So the cos of zero is one. The cos of thirty is not point eight six six so one. The cos of forty five is 0 0.707 so on. The cos of 60, I know this one, is equal to 0 0.5. The cos of 90 is equal to 0. Okay. The cos of 120 is equal to minus 0 0.5. Do you notice the pattern here? Okay. I'm going to carry on and work out the rest now. So I've worked out the cosine of all those angles, and I've got the my answers in the table like so. Um, you'll notice that the answers look very similar to the sine answers, or the sine, uh, sine x um, values, except for they're just in different positions. So if you plot the graph, it would look something like that. It starts off at 0, 0 and 1. 30 degrees and 0.866, 45 degrees and 0.707, 60 degrees and 0.5, 90 degrees and 0. 120 and minus 0 0.5, 135 and minus 0 0.707, um, 150 and minus 0 0.806, 0 0.866, 180 and minus 1 and so on. So it looks very similar to the sign graph, it's just that it's been pushed over 90 degrees to the left like so. Okay, um, starts off at 1, goes down 0, minus 1, 0, 1 and so on, it just repeats.